Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are getting back into the uh, Vietnam mission uh, after the 2.7 update uh, and, and after one patch, mind you. Um, <clears throat> a lot of crashes in the mission editor um, and still experience them even after the patch. Uh, but we're going to get back in here. We've done a couple of update dates on the map itself and uh, <clears throat> this is one of the fly-through testing. Uh, instead of just watching the AI do its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and fly it as though uh, as though I'm there. And uh, so we're just gonna circle around the party here and watch the troops get on the on the birds. And this is also uh, after I've got my uh, new Thrustmaster Hotas set up. Which I am really loving. Uh, I moved from the uh, 1600 up, and uh, it's a world of difference. Uh, just a world of difference. So, quick circle here, and hear the other engines kick on. This is actually how I do uh, recommend flying this mission. Um, the weird thing about DCS, uh, even though they're starting up from cold on the ground, the troops are already loaded, they have a tendency to lift off, circle, land, and then take off. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just, like I said, circling the formation, number one, to you know check the uh, troops are doing what they're supposed to be doing as far as getting on the helicopters because I've, I've had some problems with that previously where one or two troops or a whole you know group of them wouldn't get on but I'll go ahead and get into uh, like I said the circle here um, check things out not only from the miss mission editor perspective but uh, you know also because of the dynamic in DCS is the way this mission plays so we'll go ahead and get past transition transitional lift and we'll just circle around here once again. Now, you can circle around one more time if you want to, or you can take the opportunity, um, which is sometimes what I like to do as well, um, and I'm going to do it in this one, is to go ahead and head out on course. It's straight down the runway. You can't, can't miss it. One of the other reasons why I like the way I set this mission up or got lucky enough to set this mission up is it's... Uh, you know, you're heading straight out <coughs> down the length of the runway toward the mission area uh, as far as the waypoints on the map are concerned, whether you use the F-10 map or not, uh, you know, it's completely up to you. Uh, I know the mission, so I don't. The only thing I'm, I've been checking it for lately is, you know, just make sure everybody's where they need to be as far as... Uh, uh, the mission is, is concerned on an overall basis. So... We got a pretty long ferry flight, so um, go ahead and speed things up here uh, until we actually get into the mission area.
Okay, and here we are coming into the LZ. Dun, 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 dun. We've got smoke out, so we can see where we're going. Uh, obviously, I've got the labels on because I want to see what's moving in and around the map. Uh, as to your choice to play with them on or off, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Whatever makes you enjoy the game. We can see we've got a couple artillery rounds out. It looks as though everybody's coming in where they're lined up to uh, drop off troops. So, um, if you'll notice, there is some uh, uh, scenery destruction. Um, I set that up. Um, somebody was saying that they were having a hard time getting their uh, wingman to hit targets because uh, they couldn't see them through the trees. Uh, these did turn out a little bit big. I have adjusted them uh, to try and get them down some just a little bit because I think I think that's a little too much artillery wouldn't cause that much damage at least I don't think so anyway we're gonna go ahead and uh, fly over the LZ as though we don't see the troops and just check on our birds here and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing uh, as I flew past the farm I did notice that the smoke even though the, the sign the call was out the smoke didn't go off so I have to fix that I did also um, Put a tack in on the far. Um, I haven't got it. <coughs> excuse me, all the way implemented yet. Uh, just because I was uh, just busy it with other other parts of the mission. So, birds coming in. He's going to drop off troopages, and then we're going to turn back. Up, oh, and here we go. We've got fire. So now. It's about time to assist. So we can see where they're firing at. So we'll go ahead and do our thing. And as a result, I think I actually forgot to tell my uh, wingman to fire at folks too. Not until a little bit later on in the mission. Making sure gunners open up. Got them on the right AOE settings. And so it looks good. Um, the first time I opened this up after the 2.7 update, uh, none of the troops were moving, nothing was going on, and the helicopters wouldn't move. Uh, but I had to go back and, and pretty much kind of just slide people around. Really didn't have to you know, like delete and, and, and redo the whole, excuse me, the whole mission. All I had to do was basically kind of shuffle them around, resave the mission, and, and then everybody started working again. So I was pretty happy with that. I thought maybe I was going to have to like redesign this from the from the ground up, but uh, fortunately it didn't happen. Got our Cobra gunships coming in there too. You can see the different color fire over there to the left. So they're starting to tear stuff up. And we're getting to lob some rockets in here. And let the door gunners open up. And, and as well, the, the uh, uh, multi crew now. Uh, you know, I, when I was designing this uh, initially, it was a single player you know, type of experience, at least it was for the Huey and whatnot, so uh, kind of excited about the prospect. Um, don't know if uh, anybody would use this in a multiplayer scenario, or... I don't know, I think it'd be, uh, be kind of fun to try. And I haven't really got to do anything with Gunner Sea. You can tell we're getting just a touch of spike right there. Uh, and as we turn back over here toward the village, we'll notice that the other scenery destruction there at the far end can't see just just yet it's gun behind the gun sight. Uh, but we'll see that yeah, whether in the ville the scenery destruction for the village is kicked off after the, the four phantoms have made their bombing pass. So they're working correctly.
And it's funny to me still, um, of course, maybe, you know, that <coughs> I hadn't seen it in any updates or that it hasn't been updated. I, I could have swore they said something about the World War II assets pack uh, getting a little bit of treatment, or maybe that was to, to come in the future, not really sure. But those uh, quad 50s still, I, ha I have the force pattern that entire area to at least take out that lead gun because uh, there's a there's one in the village that will still reach out and touch you if you get uh, toward the very front of the landing zone here which is around on our left with the village um, <laughs> I, I could I can't put the marker any closer guys <laughs> Uh, and, and still, that, that A8 gun persists. I mean, that thing is just, uh, it's like made out of concrete or something, I don't know. Uh, but hopefully it'll get, you know, kind of some of the damage modeling on, on some of that stuff <laughs> refined a little bit too as well. And somebody else did tell me, and, and I forgot to change it in this, uh, per particular mission, uh, playthrough, uh, to change out the, uh, Willy P. Rockets, uh, the smoke, adding some uh, extra uh, framed integration. So uh, I, I will try and change that uh, with one of the next edits. So I'm still refining it, and like I said, it's been it's been a long time since uh, I've been able to do things. Uh, the whole what everybody's going through. I don't even have to say it. Once. Anyway, it's just been been tough. Uh, so now I finally get a chance to get back in here do some new stuff, so pretty thankful for that. And here it comes. <laughs> and that is scary when it's coming up at you, man. Holy crap. And I have played this a couple of different times. Venture too close to that village. Trash over that thing. I did move it back some, and the uh, infantry uh, will attempt to take care of it. Uh, however, you've got to give the infantry time to get uh, moved into the ville and all that kind of stuff to try and take it out. And again, you know, this mission isn't built to be anything that's, uh, you know, in a hurry. There's no actual, you know, f uh, finalization to the mission. It's just get in there and play it, do what you do, and <clears throat> see, how, see how it all turns out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get all specific on you have to kill X units or X number of units or any of that kind of stuff. This is to be experienced more like, um, you know, real life is things can happen random. Uh, you can make it, not make it. They can make it, not make it. The enemy can, you know, overrun you uh, if you're, you know, not on target, so to speak. So a lot of the units are randomized, um, you know, as well to kind of give them to various skill levels. I do have a couple of them, like I said, uh, you know, set to uh, the top tier just to make sure that there's a little overshading on the balance on the uh, blue four side, so otherwise it wouldn't be a very fun mission if all your troops get decimated before you uh, even get a chance to get over the target area. So. I think it's turned out pretty balanced uh, in the playthroughs that I've done. Uh, you know, I've, I've came in, flown really low. You know, over the target area when there's a lot of troops just breaking the tree line and gotten everybody killed. Um, you know, that was uh, shocking. I don't know whether they've made uh, you know any changes or you know whether it was just the random randomization effect on the AI that time. But gee, Christmas! I had so many tracers. And I one pass and my crew was uh, all shot all to hell, and, and then they eventually got me. Well, got the crap. Helicopter went down, and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't steer clear of the trees. You know, too, which is part of the experience. This is not meant to be, you know, overly difficult, but it is, uh, you know, made to, or at least attempted, uh, to make uh, 
as close to, you know, what I remember when I was in the military as far as the chocks, you know, the, the chalk lines uh, getting in and off the helicopters. I was an infantry troop. Um, and, you know, what I experienced from the ground is what I'm trying to recreate for the air now. Um, you know, in a different time frame. And like I said, I've, I've done the, some historical research as far as, you know, <coughs> excuse me, how the Vietnamese would attack in, in these situations and uh, things of that nature to kind of give it, uh, you know, a realistic feel as much as I can. I do have to uh, thank DCS, uh, you know, or Eagle, on it, Eagle Dynamics, as far as that goes, um, for just the beautification of my mission. <laughs> um, it was uh, different. The first time I loaded this up, like I said, the troops, you know, I was checking things out, make sure that the update didn't uh, kill it. And it kind of did. Uh, so, you know, the first time I got in here, I'm just like, whoa. This looks so much different now. Um, you know, time of day, uh, lighting, clouds, the whole, uh, the whole thing. I was just uh, so impressed. Um, you know, and, and, and just like I said, love this, you know, um, and to be able to create something that uh, is cool. You know, get to get to get to represent what was. From a certain aspect, get to participate in it. Uh, you know, like I said, I was an infantry soldier, so I, I I never got to do anything but jump out of these damn things. Um, so <laughs> being able to you know actually be the pilot and kind of fly around and, and uh, you know have have kind of the, the bird's eye that the pilots got. Uh, you know, while they were delivering us, you know, uh, into things like this is just. It, it's incredible. I love it. And that sunrise over there. Of course, you can't see it because I'm not really, you know, doing the whole scenery thing. Uh, but it's just amazing. Uh, you know, like I said, it, it really kind of uh, elevates the level, uh, you know, quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, I think it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It is so much more... Uh, engrossing to uh, just spend 30 minutes, you know, flying through this mission and, uh, you know, not just watching the tracers and all the, the smoke and fire and all that kind of stuff, but just the over, overall atmosphere now uh, with, with the new clouds is amazing. So anyway, um, basically from here I'm checking, uh, we're going to be checking the F-10 map and all that kind of stuff just to make sure I've got some balance as far as the troops and where they've moved to and all this kind of stuff. Now, uh, like I said before, you can fly back to the FARP, uh, which is located over here. I'm going to make sure I get that uh, smoke trigger redone so you can find your way back a little bit easier. Um, um, and, and get the attack handle set up as well. Um, and get the uh, uh, information on the mission editor here at some point. Uh, and then re-release this uh, on my share so that uh, people can uh, <coughs> get back in here and play if they want to and test it out for me. Give me some feedback. <coughs> Excuse me. That kind of stuff so that I can, uh, uh, you know, get it out to the proper community at one point. Uh, it's kind of hopefully my objective. And then, uh, then I'm going to start moving on to some other ones. Uh, one other uh, thing I was thinking about, too. Um, now, I know this train kind of looks good and all that kind of stuff, but I was actually, I, I picked up the Syria map, um, and let's kind of look in that over for some of, you know, what might be the next in the series, um, you know, and you guys can let me know in the comments if you want to, whether or not you think that's a good idea, whether the train is a little bit more, uh, better represented, represented on that map, um, you know, I don't, I don't really feel like the Caucasus is, 
necessarily right, uh, you know, and I, and I could be wrong, but again, you know, I'd like to hear your feedback on that and see what, uh, what you guys think, whether you'd like, to, you know, for me to change the, the area of the missions and all that kind of stuff, um, just for a different scenery and, uh, you know, things of that nature. So, anyway, uh, guys, uh, take care out there. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, you guys keep your nose up. Your wings up.